Hello children, I am your science teacher. Welcome you all again in my science class. In the last video, we have studied about the chapter 2 that is human body. Today, we will study the next part of this. Our today's topic is human respiratory system. The organs of respiratory system are nose, windpipe and lungs. But before starting that how the respiratory system works, we have to know few concepts. The new concepts are inhalation. Breathing in is called the inhalation. It means inhalation is a process by which we take in air, means we take in oxygen. And the next one is exhalation. It simply means that breathing out. Breathing out means give out carbon dioxide. And breathing in and breathing out together is called the respiration. In Hindi, respiration is also known as the Shwasan Kriya. How our respiratory system work and how can you make working model of the respiratory system? You will understand by observing the next video. After observing that video, you will also be able to make the working model of the respiratory system. So see the video and enjoy. The taking in of air rich in oxygen into the body is called inhalation and giving out of air rich in carbon dioxide is known as exhalation. So breathing comprises of inhaling and exhaling of gases. We cannot live without breathing. When we take in air it passes through our nostrils into the nasal cavity. From the nasal cavity, the air passes through the windpipe. The windpipe is also called trachea. The air then reaches two small tubes called bronchi and then it reaches our lungs. Lungs are present in the chest cavity. This cavity is surrounded by ribs on the sides. A large muscular sheet called diaphragm forms the floor of the chest cavity. The breathing involves the movement of the diaphragm and the rib cage. When the diaphragm goes down, it makes the chest cavity larger. Air enters our body through the nostrils of our nose. Then the air travels through a pipe called windpipe or trachea. The air enters the two branches of the pipe which are called bronchi. Then finally the air goes to the lungs and inflates the lungs. So this is inhalation. Similarly, when the diaphragm moves up, the air in the cavity becomes denser. So, they give more pressure on the lungs and the air exits lungs. That is, the air gets out of the body using the same path as before, from the lungs to the bronchi, then windpipe, then the nasal cavity, then the nostrils and finally out of the body and this is called exhalation. To reiterate, the taking in of air rich in oxygen into the body is called inhalation. During inhalation, the ribs move up and outwards. The diaphragm moves down. The chest cavity becomes larger and the air rushes into the lungs, inflating the lungs. Similarly, giving out of air rich in carbon dioxide is known as exhalation. During exhalation, the rib moves downwards and 
inwards the diaphragm moves up the chest cavity is reduced and the air rushes out of the lungs making the lungs smaller children i think now you have understood that how our respiratory system work so thank you